Rule 27, vessels not under command or restricted in their ability to maneuver. A vessel not under command shall exhibit two all round lights in a vertical line where they could best be seen, two balls or similar shapes in a vertical line where they could best be seen, and when making way through the water, in addition to the lights prescribed in this paragraph, side lights and a stern light. Rule 27 continued, we're on page 77 on the inland side. A vessel restricted in her ability to maneuver, except a vessel engaged in mine clearance operations, shall exhibit three all-round lights in a vertical line where they can best be seen. The highest and lowest of these lights shall be red and the middle light shall be white. Three shapes in a vertical line where they can best be seen. The highest and lowest of these shapes shall be balls and the middle one a diamond. When making way through the water, a masthead light or lights, side lights and a stern light in addition to the lights prescribed in paragraph B1 of this rule and when at anchor, in addition to the lights or shapes prescribed in paragraphs B1 and 2, the light, lights, or shapes prescribed in Rule 30. 27 continued, page 29. A vessel engaged in a towing operation which severely restricts the towing vessel and her tow in their ability to deviate from their course shall, in addition to the lights or shapes prescribed in subparagraphs B1 and 2 of this rule, Exhibit the lights or shape prescribed in Rule 24. <clears throat> rule 27 continued at page 81. A vessel engaged in dredging or underwater operations when restricted in her ability to maneuver shall exhibit the lights and shapes prescribed in subparagraphs B1, 2, and 3 of this rule and shall, in addition, when an obstruction exists, exhibit two all-round lights or two balls in a vertical line to indicate the side on which the obstruction exists, two all-round green lights or two diamonds in a vertical line to indicate the side on which another vessel may pass, and when at anchor, the lights or shape prescribed by this paragraph instead of the lights or shapes prescribed in Rule 30 for vessels at anchor. And then it goes on to talk about the dredge pipeline. That's from the annexes. We're gonna keep cruising. On to page 83, rule 27 continued. Wherever the size of a vessel engaged in diving operations makes it impracticable to exhibit all the lights and shapes prescribed in paragraph D of this rule as appropriate, the following shall be instead exhibited. Three all round lights in a vertical line where they can best be seen. The highest and lowest of these lights shall be red and the middle light shall be white. A rigid replica of the International Code Flag Alpha, not less than one meter in height, measures shall be taken to ensure its all-round visibility. And page 85, mine clearance. A vessel engaged in mine clearance operation shall, in addition to the lights prescribed for a power-driven vessel in Rule 23, or to the lights or shape prescribed for a vessel at anchor in Rule 30, as appropriate, exhibit three all-round lights or three balls. One of these lights or shapes shall be exhibited near the four masthead and one at each end of the four yard. These lights or shapes indicate that it's dangerous for another vessel to approach within a thousand meters of the mine clearance vessel. A vessel of less than 12 meters in length, except when engaged in diving operations, is not required to exhibit the lights or shapes prescribed in this rule. The signals prescribed in this rule are not signals of vessels in distress and requiring assistance. Such signals are contained in Annex 4 to these rules. Let's throw all this up on the board and make sense of it because it's quite a bit. We use a framework, you know, a skeleton, and we'll put some meat on that thing. And we use the mnemonic rhyme to start. We say, over night rooms for sale plus supper. We're gonna focus right here with the lights. So not under command, through some exceptional circumstance, you cannot maneuver as required by the rules. Restricted in her ability to maneuver due to the nature of her work, she can no longer maneuver as required by the rules. Vessel engaged in fishing, nets, lines, trawl, or apparatus which restrict maneuverability. I'm actually gonna bounce back to rule three very briefly here because it's so important to understand what a vessel restricted in her ability means. It means due to the nature of her work, she cannot maneuver as required by the rules. And it's not, it includes, but it's not limited to 
A vessel engaged in laying, servicing, or picking up a navigational mark, submarine cable, or pipeline. A vessel engaged in dredging, surveying, or underwater operations. A vessel engaged in replenishment or transferring persons, provisions, or cargo while underway. A vessel engaged in the launching or recovery of aircraft. A vessel engaged in mine clearance operations. A vessel engaged in a towing operation such as severely restricts the towing vessel and her tow and their ability to deviate from their course. So that's what we're talking about when we say vessel restricted in her ability to maneuver due to the nature of her work. Let's light these up. So we have some mnemonic rhymes. We say, red over red, my captain is dead. These are all round lights. I'll circle them to indicate that. Red, white, red, captain making bread. And then we have fishing, right? We have green over white, trawling at night, red over white, other forms of fishing at night. These are ID lights. These lights are on when the vessel is underway. So let's back up. What is underway? Underway means the vessel's not at anchor, not made fast to the shore, and not aground. If you fit that definition, you're out there, you're underway. Well, you can be underway making way, going from point A to point B. You can also be underway not making way, and you're just adrift at point A. This, um, it, it makes a difference on what lights you have on. So if you're underway, you turn on your ID lights, and you have these on when you're underway. And then, in addition, when making way through the water, that's how the rules put it. In addition, when making way through the water, side lights and a stern light, right? Not under command. Side lights, stern light. Fishing, side lights, stern light. Restricted, masthead light, side light, stern light. Masthead light side stern. So if you see a question that says, in addition to the lights for a vessel restricted in her ability to maneuver, what lights? Masthead light side light stern light. Or if it says a vessel not under command has its ID lights on, what lights in addition when making way through the water? Side light stern light. Same for fishing. So these are when they're underway and making way. Let's check out, let's get into some day shapes and then we'll kind of light those day shapes up too. So the day shapes for a vessel not under command through some exceptional circumstance is ball over ball. And then restricted in her ability to maneuver due to the nature of her work is ball, diamond, ball. Good. We're gonna focus here. We, we covered fishing in the last rule, so we're focused here. I included fishing because it's good to be redundant. We need to remember this. And these two, restricted and fishing, they do a lot of, you know, they might tend buoys, so they might be touching the ground, or they might be putting out like crab pots, so they might be touching the ground. So here's a nuance that we need to remember. Whether underway or at anchor, restricted and fishing, have their ID lights on, which is unique. So we say, whether underway or at anchor, that is a wonky anchor. Let's try again. Whether underway or at anchor, yeah, that's better. Restricted and fishing will have their ID lights on. So there's multiple um, combinations of day shapes going on now. So we'll start over here and we'll say, which one? A ram at anchor. This is a little bit unique. A ram at anchor. And if you have a vessel restricted in her ability to maneuver due to the nature of her work and she's at anchor, she says ball, Diamond, ball, right? Restricted in her ability to maneuver. And then an anchor ball. This is rule 30. 
and we'll get to this. And we'll take a closer look. And then let's light this up as well. So we're red, white, red, captain making bread. He's making dough, he's working. And then this anchor, it's all around white light. And now let's look at a mine clearance vessel. This one's unique. Mine clearance. And it says, green, 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 danger extreme. And they said, what'd they say? They said balls at the top of the mast and at the ends of the yard. So it looks like this is the day shape. And if you light this up, it's green, 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 danger extreme. Green, 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 danger extreme. And it said, don't come within a thousand meters. So stay more than a thousand meters away from this. Green, 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 danger extreme. Stay more than a thousand meters away. And then we'll take a look at a dredge. The dredge has the biggest set of day shapes and it's ball, diamond, ball, her vessel restricted in her ability to maneuver due to the nature of her work. And then it said, on the side that's safe to pass, you get two diamonds, two diamonds, right? And then on the side where the obstruction exists, you get two balls. And then at night, this will be again, red, white, red, captain making bread. And on the diamonds, it's green over green. And over here where the obstruction exists and you have the balls, at night when you light them up, they're red over red. Excellent. Now let's look at, if you were to see a diagram. Let's look at, let's focus here. Diagram, red over red, my captain is dead. So from the stern, you would see red over red, my captain is dead. Then you might see a white stern light. That's from the stern. And if you Turn to the port side, you'd see red over red, my captain is dead. Then you'd see a red port side light. Notice there's no masthead light in this one. So there's no masthead light or, you might see a question that says, which vessel will have no masthead light when you see it head on? Not under command. So red over red, my captain is dead, the port side. And if you, let's look at the starboard side and it would be red over red and then a green starboard light. And then head on, you'd see red over red, my captain is dead and then a green starboard and a red port side light. And this is head on. Okay, cool. That's enough. And here we could look at one in particular. Here we are. So just to drive home that when you're underway, you turn on your ID lights. In addition, when making way through the water, you turn on your side lights and stern light or mast headlight, side light and stern light. So here we are with a vessel restricted in her ability to maneuver. There she is underway, just red over red, my captain instead. In addition, when making way through the water, her side lights and stern light. And you can see her ball over ball. And now, <clears throat> here's this unique one, ram at anchor, right? Cause most vessels you think a vessel underway is not at anchor. Not made fast to the shore, but here's an exception. You can see she's anchored, tending a buoy. So she's sitting there working. So she's got a red, white, red, captain making bread, anchor light. 
And in addition, when making way through the water, mast headlight, side light, stern light. This one, this is really the one I wanted to show you. So this is a tug and a tow, which are severely restricted to deviate from their course. Red, white, red, captain making bread. And then in addition, towing lights. Two in a row, a tug and a tow, side lights, and a towing light over a stern light, yellow over white towing a stern at night. Oh, and the mine clearance one, we might as well take a look at it. Here you are. Here's the mine clearance. Green, 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 danger extreme. Mast headlight, side light, stern light. If it's over 50 meters, the second mast headlight, a bath oven higher than the forward ones. And then this underwater operations. Remember the rigid replica of the code flag alpha? I know, here in the US, if there's a diver down, we see the diver down flag, right? And it's got a diagonal white stripe, but it's, you think about it, it is red, white, red. Captain making bread, just like their light pattern. Cool, this is vessels not under command or restricted in their ability to maneuver, the lights and shapes. Excellent. <laughs>